Dorothy, we should keep moving. Scarecrow! Why didn't you walk around the hole? I don't know enough. My head is stuffed with straw, and that is why I am going to Oz to ask him for some brains. Oh, I see. But, after all, brains are not the best thing in the world. Have you any? No, my head is quite empty. But once I had brains, and a heart as well. So having tried them both, I should much rather have a heart. And why is that? I will tell you my story, and then you will know. I was born the son of a woodchopper. When I grew up, I too became a woodchopper. And after my father died, I took care of my old mother as long as she lived. I then made up my mind that instead of living alone, I would marry so that I might not become lonely. There was one of the munchkin girls who was so beautiful that I soon grew to love her with all my heart. She, on her part, promised to marry me as soon as I could earn enough money to build a better house for her. So I set to work harder than ever. But the girl lived with an old woman who did not want her to marry anyone, for she was so lazy she wished the girl to remain with her and do the cooking and the housework. So the old woman went to the wicked witch of the east and promised her two sheep and a cow if she would prevent the marriage. Thereupon the wicked witch enchanted my axe, and when I was chopping away at my pest one day, for I was anxious to get the new house and my wife as soon as possible, the axe slipped all at once and cut off my legs. This at first seemed a great misfortune, for I knew a legless man could not do very well as a woodchopper. So I went to a tinsmith and had him make me new legs out of tin. My legs worked very well once I was used to it, but my action angered the Wicked Witch of the East, for when I began chopping again my axe slipped and cut off my right arm, and then to my left arm. But nothing daunted, I had them replaced with tin ones. The Wicked Witch then made the axe slip and cut off my head. At first I thought that was the end of me, but the tinsmith happened to come along he made me a new head out of ten. I thought I had beaten the Wicked Witch then, and I worked harder than ever. But I little knew how cruel my enemy could be. She thought of a new way to kill my love for the beautiful munchkin maiden. It made my axe slip again so that it cut right through my body, splitting me into two halves. Once more the tinsmith came to my help and made me a body of ten. But alas, I had now no heart, so that I lost all my love for the Munchkin girl, and did not care whether I married her or not. I suppose she is still living with the old woman, waiting for me to come after her. While I was in love, I was the happiest man on earth, but no one can love who has not a heart, and so I am resolved to ask Oz to give me one. All the same, I shall ask for brains instead of a heart. Or fool would not know what to do with the heart if he had one. I shall take the heart, for brains do not make one happy, and happiness is the best thing in the world. <laughs>